Hello, everybody. My name is Roman Bostic here on Sports Center with my two co hosts, Zach Kaplan and Charles Fisher. We're going to be talking about these new look Bulls. Obviously, they're looking very well, very good. Charles, what do you think about this team? I think the addition of Lonzo Ball is going to be really, really big. I think he's going to be their future point guard. They, Kobe White's more of a guy you want to run off the bench, a great six man. They wanted to draft him to hopefully he could get better at playmaking. It never really panned out. He's become a way better scorer. He can get buckets off the bench, and I think he's going to thrive in his new role. And as for Lonzo Ball, I think he's really going to continue to break out. I think he wasn't he wasn't great under the spotlight in LA. He kind of he kind of find, found his shooting stroke um, in New Orleans, and now that he's in Chicago, I think he can just. And he has some great teammates. He has um, Zach Levine to throw lobs to, so he can have another lob partner. Not Zion this time, but it's going to be Zach Levine, so it's going to be Zoe and Zach. And they also have Nick Vucevic, who's a great center, top 10 center in the league, for sure. And they just got DeMar DeRozan. So four top 15 guys at their position. Um, that's a stacked team, if you ask me. And I think the Bulls definitely have a chance to make the second round. I don't know if they're going to do too much in that playoffs right away. But I think they're going to achieve their goal of making the playoffs. And I think soon they're going to be back at the promised land. Yeah, well, the Chicago Bulls are still young. Levine, Kobe White, and Lonzo, all young players. I could see Lonzo being a double-double guy for the Bulls for a while. Kobe White being a great sore off the bench. And another guy that you didn't mention, Patrick Williams, who's yeah. been compared to Kawhi Leonard. I don't think he'll ever reach that. But I think he could be a top 3 and D player in the league to, in, in the future. Uh, the Bulls definitely looking better. I just think coaching is still an issue. Hopefully, though, they can get back to the promised land. Yeah, obviously, this Bulls team, they've been doing a lot of work this offseason. Could bring them back to the promised land. When do you think their estimated time of arrival is this Bulls team to finally make their final championship run? When do you think they'll reach the NBA Finals, Zach? Uh, well, it's kind of awkward because they have some young guys, some older guys. You know, Vucevic is getting up there. He's over 30 now. DeRozan's getting up there. But they also have young guys like Williams, White, Levine, and, uh, and Ball. So it's either like, I feel like in a year or two, they could definitely get to the conference finals. They are a second, year, uh, a second round team now. But I, I think that it's, it might be now or never because DeRozan is one of the best players on the team. Same with Vucevic. And I think that they need them to win a ring. Charles? I think, I think that I really like what Arturo's kind of showed us and Mark Eversley did with this team. They took it from a team that was strictly a young team and trying to get better to making it a team that can be great in the present and great in the future as well. But now we have some breaking news. We have breaking news here. Lonzo Ball recruits brother Leangelo to come to Chicago in an in a trade and sign deal. Bulls send a second rounder to Charlotte. Charles, what do you think about this? I don't really think it's gonna do much. Honestly, it's gonna be a big name. It's gonna be hyper. It's gonna be buzz around the Bulls, and I think that's what mainly it's gonna be for. I don't think they're gonna re really look at him to do much in summer league. He was kind of a ball hawk. And he wasn't very efficient. I think if they can somehow get him to just fill into his role and just be a spot-up shooter, I think it could be really good. But until he just puts his ego to the side and just decides to play like a normal player, I don't know how much it'll impact it. But if he can be a sharp shooter like he was in high school and not have to put the ball on the court, I think he just catch and shoot, catch and shoot, be a very valuable piece for this team. But otherwise, I just think it's a buzz signing. Yeah, well, I just think it's a fame trade. You know, just trying to get their names in the papers again, get the jersey sales, make the money. But maybe, just maybe, this could lead to all three Ball brothers reuniting and slight chance that Lonzo could recruit LaMelo too. But LaMelo's trade value might be too high for the Bulls. I don't really know how they're going to fit together. Last time they all played together, LaMelo was, LaMelo's like three years younger than both of them. Uh, LaMelo's going to be a beast for years to come, unless they get together as like a retirement tour. I don't really know how it's going to, how they're all going to play together. I'd love to see that Chino Hills team come back to, come back together, Alonzo, LaMelo, Isaiah, Jackson, and um, Onyeka Kungu. I think that'll be really fun. But I think it's a good trade for the for the Bulls. I think if they can put his ego to the side and just help him help the team, I think they're going to be good. Yeah, I could see Leangelo becoming a 3-and-D player. 
a role player off the bench. He could put up points. He could help this Bulls team out off the bench with Kobe White, but he might not get very many minutes, and he might not become worth a second rounder if he can't put his ego to the side. Now, that shall do it for this segment of Sports Center. We came with you to some breaking news, talk about these new Bulls, and we will continue to talk about them right after this.